Friday the 13th the game was always a very tentative project. Funded entirely through Kickstarter and Backerkit, this game had every potential to fail at the first and, well, frankly any other hurdle it was presented with, as many others had before it. The film franchise hadn't seen a new instalment in cinemas since 2009, and the last major Friday the 13th game was published all the way back in 1989, not counting of course Zendex's mobile title of the same name. Come January 2015, Friday the 13th was announced by Electronic Gaming Monthly as a new multi-platform survival horror, asymmetrical co-op and competitive multiplayer predator-prey horror experience. Quite the mouthful indeed. The game was originally titled Slasher Volume 1 Summer Camp, presumably to avoid a premature cease and desist letter from Friday the 13th's rights holders. After quite a bit of attention, Gun Media joined original developers Ilphonic to help develop and publish the title. The game's funding was a big success, collecting a total of over $1 million from a total of over 28,000 backers, and importantly, they had also been given the rights to produce a Friday the 13th video game by current rights holder, Sean Cunningham. Development continued steadily, gathering a cast that would make any horror movie fan proud, managing to get Kane Hodder for Jason's motion capture, Tom Matthews from Friday the 13th Part 6 to play Tommy Jarvis, and the legendary composer Harry Manfredini. Eventually, the game's release date was pushed back, from fall 2016 to May 26, 2017, initially releasing as a digital exclusive, with a physical copy coming later, published on October 13th, 2017, which was, of course, a Friday. The game received mixed reviews, with many reviewers citing glitches and server issues at launch as a reason for their fairly average scoring. Gun Media and Ilphonic got to work trying to fix these bugs and server issues, with the game slowly getting better and better over time, as more content and maintenance patches were released into the game, with plans for dedicated servers and a full-on engine overhaul being made public to the players. The developers, in my opinion, seem to really want to make Friday the 13th work, even through all the trials and tribulations of the game's current life cycle. After many free content updates, introducing new Jasons, new maps and new counsellors to the game, along with some minor paid cosmetic DLC, the devs got around to the first big hurdle for the game, the engine upgrade. To paraphrase, the upgrade was essential for the future of the game. It was needed to ensure stability and integration of dedicated servers, along with support for further content and patches. This engine upgrade did eventually come, and whilst on the surface it seemed to improve performance and graphical fidelity somewhat, the intention, to me at least, was clear. It felt like the devs were taking the game seriously, and were finally getting in the right place with the right tools to ensure this game became as great as we all hoped it would be. Unfortunately, this is pretty much the end of the Friday the 13th The Game's story. On June 11th, 2018, Gun Media announced that all future content updates for the game were completely cancelled due to an outstanding rights dispute between Sean Cunningham and Victor Miller, who penned the original screenplay for the first Friday the 13th film, and who is credited with creating Jason Voorhees and his mother, though not exactly in the way they were further portrayed later in sequels. This lawsuit had been going on for quite a while, and it looked like Miller was on the verge of losing. However, according to some sources, Miller managed to pull up some fresh evidence just in time. Thusly, this meant that no more Friday the 13th content could be created in any measure, including, unfortunately, the game. We won't get into the who's right and the who's wrongs of this case, and we're definitely not going to be playing the blame game in this video, but this is unfortunately what caused the death of this game. Is the game completely dead? Mm, no, not yet. There are still many loyal players that aim to continue playing this game, and if you're looking for them, they're easy to find. There are many Facebook groups that endeavour to play this game actively every day, along with many groups on your respective platform. The servers will remain online, maintenance patches will still be implemented by the developers, but there will be absolutely no new content in the game, ever. Even if this lawsuit was sorted out tomorrow, and the development could continue, Gun Media consider it unfeasible now, or in the future, to create content that might never be released. That's bad business. Seeing Friday the 13th the game die like this does not feel good at all. The game might have had a shaky start, and it may have felt unsure at times, but it seemed like Gun Media were just starting to hit their stride when the game's development hit a major roadblock. Friday the 13th was one of the franchises that I'd heard about but never really bothered to look into, and after purchasing the game, and eventually watching all of the movies, some multiple times, and being generally enthralled by the franchise itself, I'm a huge fan of the masked anti-hero that is Jason Voorhees. What seemed to be a competitor to the massive Dead by Daylight has unfortunately been doomed to a slow and painful death. 
Friday the 13th the game's return is pretty much impossible at this point, but there may be some hope in the future, either for this franchise or for a new IP that has been in development for quite a while. When it will be released though, your guess is as good as mine. Thanks for watching, this has been an unfortunate post-mortem of Friday the 13th the game. I did quite enjoy my time with this game, and I think had it been able to continue development, it would only have grown stronger. However, we'll never know for sure what could have happened to Friday the 13th the game. If you've enjoyed this video, leave a like and let me know how you feel about this game in the comments below, maybe share some of your favourite moments from the game. Don't forget to check out the channel whilst you're there as well, I post a variety of gaming content including Ark, Rainbow Six, and I'm looking to expand into more games soon, so make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to be the first to see the next video, and join us on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Again thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.